Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide. We are on December 4th, 2024. This is the last 48 hours looking at our sun. Brought to you by GO-16, as well Gong satellites. Large plasma filament stretched across the surface, an active sunspot region turning into view, as you can see, firing away. Having a look at the last 48 hours incoming, amazing images of our sun brought to you by NASA and NOAA and NSO. As SDO has been down and will be for the next little while, so stay tuned as we do have new imagery right now. And it's pretty cool. And I want to welcome everybody to the channel. Thank you so much for pressing play. All the love, support, and comments for the information and channel is amazing. And thank you so much. I'm truly grateful for you all. My heart goes out to Shaolin TV. He was a moderator on my channel, recently passed away. So my thoughts and prayers are with him, with his family, and as well, big shout out to him. Right now we have five sunspot regions that are earth-facing, and the two that are turning in are pretty big, and it is grouping nicely. So stay tuned, stay aware and prepared. That's what this is all about. Current space weather conditions, we are under R1. Minor radial blackout impacts are expected. Solar winds are coming in at 457 kilometers per second. I'd say that's very elevated. Normally, it's around 300 kilometers per second. Earth-facing coronal hole is responsible. Two M-class solar flares to report just in the past 12 hours. Solar proton flux is low. Geomagnetic activity is low. And those solar flares were not Earth-facing. Having a look here at the Space Weather Prediction Center, expecting our next event just after midnight tonight. Small minor geomagnetic instability from most recent coronal mass ejections that were thwarted towards our planet. Having a look here at ISWA Space Prediction Spiral, showing the same thing, expected event tonight and as well some more activity later on in the week. Most recent CMEs outgoing and as well cresting into view. Large coronal mass ejection from the, the M-class solar flare that came in on the cresting limb. Here is a look at our Northern Lights Aurora forecast for tonight and into tomorrow. Not much to talk about just yet. Lasco 3, showing since December 1st, all of the space weather activity coming from our sun. One minor coronal mass ejection you can see coming from the polar region, north, and as well backside, but nothing major just yet. Pretty quiet sun considering we had such a complex sunspot region turn into view. Having a look here now at earthquakes, as we did have some sizable earthquakes to report here. Petrolia, California, 10 kilometer depth, 4.2s ringing out off the coast there. Lots of activity. Heads up, California, and straight up to the Juan de Fuca. USGS is reporting 289 earthquakes in the past 24 hours. That is way above average. Average is 200. So the, all those seismicity is still ringing out. Alaska and California, Hawaii. But this most recent activity all across California Basin and as well north and northwest of Yellowstone has me a little bit concerned. Straight up to the Juan de Fuca Plate. Friends and family around the world, heads up. This minor Earthquake activity is building, and as forecasted here with daily events worldwide, Mercury retrograde playing a big part in this Earth-shaking movement going on right now. Even across the New Madrid, Ridgely, Tennessee, Pawnee, Oklahoma, and then Humatonga, 607 kilometer depth occurring today in the Tonga region. And we can always expect a larger shallower earthquake to follow from such a deep earthquake. So 
Stay aware and prepared. You live in an earthquake-prone zone, for instance, all across the Ring of Fire. Stay aware and prepared. Notable earthquake here at India Plate. Mulugu, India, 5.0 magnitude earthquake, right under a very intense low-pressure system. 4.3 reported there in Mongolia. 4.6 Greece. 4.9 here, Scotia Plate, South Sandwich Islands, and as well, a 5.3 West Chile Rise. Notable earthquake here, 4.2 Colombia. All of a sudden, it's gone quiet. Puerto Rico, after all this most recent activity, reported here with daily events worldwide. From Central America North, this is an earthquake warning. Please share this with your friends and family from around the world. Earthquake warning from Central America and North and South to Argentina. This is a forecast from Daily Events Worldwide. Mike with Daily Events Worldwide based on my analysis and research here. We just had a very large eruption. Philippines followed by a large earthquake. It's going to bounce to the other side of the Pacific Rim. Heads up. Now let's have a look at world weather. We're only going to show you here our upper level winds depicting our magnetosphere. So upper level winds normally are coming in at about 200 kilometers per hour. In some of these regions, 222 kilometers per hour at the height of the, uh, the polar vortex. But this drives winter for the northern hemisphere. Always like to share the models as they do change. Especially when we transition into winter. Wanted to share here with you as well the North Atlantic Current. Just a little visual visualization of what our Atlantic Ocean is doing. This is all brought to you by Null School. Check it out online can see all of this data put together on this globe there is the North Atlantic current northern Arctic waters already starting to invade Great Lakes haven't cooled just yet hence all of the major snow squall events that we're seeing across Ontario and northeastern United States meters of snow has fallen already now this is the pacific northwest current i don't normally show this but i do believe that this is a driver as well let's just have a look back at 2023 and have a look at the temperature line versus this year so the blues are the colder temperatures versus the reds and the warms Versus this year, we have a very warm Pacific Ocean right now. But we also have some extreme cold temperatures coming from the north. Hence, all of the increase in extreme weather events around the world. When you've got extreme cold and extreme heat crashing, you get extreme weather. Having a look here at the North Atlantic Current last year versus this year. 2023 and 2024. 2023, 2024. Notice the invading blues through the central North Atlantic as we embark into our new mini ice age, everybody. Brought to you by our sun, Solar Cycle 25, Solar Maximum. Much love, everybody. Hope you enjoyed the show. Please share this video with your friends and family. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. Get you to you. Bye-bye.